going thrifting today. It's been a while. I don't even remember the last time I went, probably a few weeks ago, but let's go.
back home, we're doing the thrift haul, and I would say today was like a pretty okay day. It wasn't amazing, but I did find some things. And most of the things I found were at that massive thrift store that I just love. And I think that's why I just keep going back to that one because it's reliable. The other two are small. They're kind of a hit and miss situation. So I just prioritized the big one. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to show you is the fabrics. I only got a few fabrics. This is just a cotton. It's actually an old curtain. You can see the curtain hooks there. I just loved the color. It's not the biggest piece, but still pretty good. This one was hiding between other blankets and I just like spotted it underneath. The color combination, that's what really spoke to me. <laughs> But it's this kind of, I don't even know, yellow, but kind of green on one side and this beautiful baby blue on the other side. It is a duvet cover, so it's just two completely different sides. Duvet covers are honestly my favorite because it's nice thin cotton. Most of the time they're not stained and it's two separate pieces of fabric that I just rip apart. Isn't that great? Look, it's huge. This one I found like last minute, I was about to walk away from the fabric section and I just spotted this black curtain. 100% cotton, there's even a little tag on it still. A nice woven black fabric. I mean, you can't go wrong with black. It's not something I have. Do I even have anything in black? No, not solid black at least. There is quite a bit. I thought maybe I make a couple black flower bags because this is the perfect type of material. So that was it for the fabrics. There wasn't that many options. There were a lot of bed sheets, but like kid bed sheets. So they had weird characters and stuff on it. And like, I don't trust kids bed sheets, you know? <laughs> so I usually always try and go for curtains or like duvet covers of queen size beds because those are always the cleanest. Of course I do wash them. I wash everything before I even cut it or work with it. Onto the clothes. I have three articles of clothing and now that I look at it, they're all menswear pieces, which I didn't actually think about till now. <laughs> the first one is this extra large checked, I guess you can call it checkered gingham men's shirt. The collar is like not cute anymore. It's very worn in. It's just a well-loved shirt, but I wanted to make little summer shorts out of it because there's so much fabric on the back. I want to make kind of like a boxer short. I just need some more cute summer shorts, something that I can just throw on like at the beach or even shorts in the house, you know, like pajama shorts. So I got this one and actually next week I am going to do like a sew my summer wardrobe with me and this will be on the list. I have a whole list of items I want to make. So if you want to see how this turns out, you can subscribe and see what else I make for the summer. So I also got this. To be honest, I did want to cut this up into shorts as well and just make two pairs, but now that I see it, I'm like, oh, but it's kind of a nice shirt. This is to be determined. If I keep it or if I cut it up, I tend to have a lot of men's shirts. I already have three men's overshirts that I wear. So maybe it's okay if I cut it up. This one was a score. I love an oversized blazer. I have one that I wear all the time. It's also a men's blazer, <laughs> but this one is a navy blue wool blazer. You saw me fit it on. It was like the perfect oversized fit and I love the subtle like stripe in it, the detailing in it. The lining is like perfection. It's fantastic quality. It looks pretty much new. Like there's no wear signs at all. I love it. And then I had this really cute brooch that I got, but I can't find it. One second. I got it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, need. And I pictured it on a blazer lapel, which is this massive <laughs> safety pin. I don't even know with the beads on it. Oh, I just love like it opens this could make one massive hole in whatever it goes through but so worth it like it's so cool I can even put on my sweater 
Oh, I love. This is great. I love anything that's like weirdly oversized. <laughs> Moving on. Last but not least, this was in the last thrift store that I went to. It's a little bit more dingy, so I don't love it, but they always have great sewing notions. I don't know who is donating it, but somebody in that neighborhood is donating a lot of sewing stuff and a lot of sewing notions, like threads, pins, yarn, like oh, so much. Every time I go, there's more, and it's the best for me, at least, because no one else has sewing notions like that. So I got four spools of thread and they were only two euros. Usually they cost like at least four, if not five. I was running out of white, so I got two white, this green, and then this like burgundy color. I don't think I have these colors. I just kind of assumed that I didn't, so I just grabbed them. And there you have it. That is the whole thrift haul, just some fabric and a lot of menswear. <laughs> but stay tuned because next week I am doing a whole sew my summer wardrobe with me. I have a whole list of things that I want to make, including those two boxer shorts from the men's shirts. So if you're interested to see how it goes, you can subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. Bye.